Welcome back to another Daily Dose of your Karens, Kevins, Darrens, and their public freakout shenanigans. Right here on Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. With your host, the Australian Idiot, and let's get into the clips. By the story being told here by the guy who's in the car here, apparently there was some form of road rage, some mini road rage incident that happened prior to this clip here, and this guy decided to uh, follow this person in order to tell them off about having a short fuse and to accept consequences of their actions. Here's the clip. You were w- driving on the wrong side of the road, right? I was trying to turn into a parking lot. No, you weren't. You were, yeah. you were stopped Are right you there. Stupid? I Don't yell. you stupid? Are you, you okay? Me off. Are you, you okay? You put me off because I honked why, at you. Why are you, pull- you couldn't Why you are you pulling up next to me to yell? I was right and that I honked at you. You put me off. You couldn't even stand that. Okay. You were wrong. And you couldn't even stand that. And now you're, you're recording me like that's going to do something? Yeah, I'm going to post to you because you're Wait, you're, you're, my you're name? amateur. You yeah, want my go name? Ahead. Okay, okay. Name. my name is Go f- Yourself, You Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. What I do hope you think you're going to do I'll pray this? for you. Yeah? Yeah, I'll pray for you. Great. Yeah. I'll pray for you because you have a very short fuse and you don't know when you're wrong. I you have a short fuse? Yes, you, you you're did. the one that just pulled up to me. You're the me one who flipped me off, girl. Recognize what you did wrong. Okay. Did you not flip me off? Or, yeah, or, I flipped you off. Okay, the then. You recognize me. what you do. Recognize your own mistakes and <laughs> accept <laughs> the consequences to go with them. Look at that. You <laughs> telling me? Oh, you pull up to me. Like I'm the one. You're entertaining me. Keep it going. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Please. Keep it going. Uh, I'll keep it going. Yeah. I'll keep because it going. I actually makes sense. See, because okay. you're, you're trying to turn it around on me, like I'm the one who did something wrong. All I did was honk at you. All I did was honk at you and try to go around you. Try to go around you. And you kept blocking my way. And when I finally got around you, you're what behind did you do? me. You what should you wait. Do? You, you should blocked. wait. Girl, you're blocking the, the way. The right of way is the person girl, that's in front girl, of you. Girl, you don't know the right. The you don't know the rules of the road. Of the road. In the Shut up. Of the lane. All right, give me your TikTok and I'll follow you. That way you can tag me and, and, and we can make, make ourselves go viral. How about that? Um, you're going to go viral on yourself for being a uh, weirdo. So I, I can follow you. No, you can, you can go ahead and leave. I don't know why you're harassing me. I'm not harassing you. I'm you're harassing you me. You're literally you're right next line. to me. I'm just trying to real, like, make you realize that you're stupid who is not entitled. And you're not special either. Okay. So what's your TikTok so I can follow you? Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so funny. Yeah, it you is. You can keep it going. you think that you're smart. You're not. Why are you next to me? You're so weird. Because you flipped me off. That's why. Uh, get over it. Like, get over answers, it. But you don't it's a finger. It. Don't listen to that. It's a finger. You're it's calling me a all it's, of this it's, stuff yeah, are you okay in the head you're yeah, clearly a, not okay in the head. okay i'm not gonna talk and, and you know that it provokes people a violent gesture yes, is violent harassing gesture. someone no a violent gesture yes i can go to the police so, well, is, for you harassing yeah, me is, right now yeah yeah, yeah well, i will go ahead and go to police right now i'll yeah. go ahead and get your police and everything i already have you on video great yeah and, and they'll go ahead and, and they'll watch this video and they'll ask you did you flip him off did you do everything that he did that, that he claims and then you're you were like, behind no, me i have I the right away i didn't do anything okay. right yeah okay keep it yeah keep it going keep it going I'm gonna go ahead and back up and see your place. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and leave too now because you're, you're gonna call the cops and act like a victim when you're not a victim. Ironic, isn't it? You're saying that she has such a short fuse to throw a finger when you apparently beep at her for something that you claim to be her stupid doing, but then you're also the same person who's literally followed her to her destination just so you can go off at her. It doesn't that seem like you having a short fuse as well, that you had the absolute necessity to do this? Like, this just all seems so unnecessary, so over the top, and so ridiculously stupid like <laughs> I can understand that being annoyed at someone for just doing stupid things on the road and then they poke the finger at you when you beat your horn at them because they did stupid but following them to wherever they're going just so you can go off with them is ridiculously stupid and shows that you got pissed off by this entire scenario far more than what you seem than what you want to claim to be here buddy this clip is kind of like the ultimate example of why I'm more willing to believe the the uh, staff behind the counter and not the customer. But here's a clip and I'll talk to you more later. Yeah, is there uh, anything wrong with the... Because I'm not allowed to touch the... Okay, we'll find out who's allowed to do what when the manager gets back here. And after I call home office on you too. I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. To... What did I do? You said you couldn't touch it. 
I'm not allowed to touch you, it. Well, you touch people's phones, don't you? No, I'm not allowed to touch those either. Well, us as Walmart employees aren't allowed to touch them. Those are the jobs of the phone reps, and the phone reps aren't necessarily. I, I don't want to hear no more from you, because you are—you don't know how to do customer service. Oh, okay, okay. How old are you? 15, 16, no, 17? I will be 19 in May. Okay, you're too young to know how to do any type of customer service. Oh, okay. Because you're keep telling me that I'm not the customer, so. I wouldn't want to be told that no matter what age I am. Yeah, it's the reason I don't shop here no more. Did you already call a team lead down here? Yeah, I, I don't want a team lead. I want an assistant manager. I called. There's August right there. I called up a management. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to buy this um, charger for my watch, and he wanted to know whether when I was returning it. I said I'm not returning it. It was taped. That you no know, box was taped together, shut. And I said I was trying to get it open. I asked for some scissors or something to open with. That I ended up you know, having to rip it open to see what was exhibited at my watch. And then he said, Are you sure this will fit your watch? I said, Yes, I tried it. Here's my watch. Here's the charger. You can try it yourself. He said, I ain't about to do that. No, I said, I'm not allowed to touch customers' um, items. Um, right, right, because right. us as Walmart employees aren't supposed to touch the items of customers. We're only supposed to. Right, bring them. right, right. But if. Uh, so did you try it? Yeah. realized that you were just trying to log into your shopping account. If you forget your password, you just get that thing that you go Right now, I've never put one yeah. in. Yeah. All right, no, awesome. It's a, it's a one -time yeah. pass code okay, total will be 1946. Now, if you haven't put two and two together, which is fair, if you haven't quite caught on, but basically what's happened here is this person here wanted to get a certain charge for a watch, and the guy behind the counter is like, do you know it's the right one for your watch? And she's like, yeah, here, you try it yourself. You put it together. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. Don't need to do that, sorry. And she's called... Like she's caused a whole fuss because he said no, I don't want to do that, I can't do that, sorry, I'm not gonna to touch your watch, sorry. And she's lost the plot at that point. That is like <laughs> I like that is just some level of ridiculousness that like that, that's just why I'm more willing to believe the workers over customers, because of stuff like this, like unnecessary stupid crap where she's clearly already tested it herself and Ryan said yeah I know it works she's like oh, no no you can I mean yeah I, it does but you can check yourself and he says no nah, I'm good you don't you don't just go oh is that the case I'll get the manager because you're not doing proper customer service you just go oh, okay fair enough and then that's that you wouldn't have had to spend any time complaining about these things or doing this or doing that it would have been all over and done with you made your purchase and you get out it's really that simple i don't get why you have to complicate it so much over something so insignificantly not trivial in this next we've got the neighborhood karen who decided to uh, annoy their neighbor and has now copped an absolute whooping with words for it Listen, you And you, you act like you think that we don't belong in this neighborhood. This neighborhood is a downgrade for me. This is a downgrade for me. Listen, get your ass back. In my ear. You want to just keep on stop and keep going back. And it's not, a, it's not against the law to play music in this country, okay? During the so daytime. take your little, yeah, take your little back. Go, go. Here. Back home. Do you look and sound. Hey, Karen. You have a Hi, Karen. In the of the road? Hi, Karen. How are you, you today, have a Karen? In the of this year. <laughs> Here. Karen. House, okay? Bye, Karen. Hey, Karen. Bye, Karen. Have yeah. a nice day. And you're gonna be. You know you're gonna be on social media, right? Isn't you know that right? <laughs> Come on. Just... I want you to know that. Come on, get out. I want you to know that. Right, and that's... this is gonna go viral, super viral. Yeah, see, super viral. Just go right. in your this house. This is gonna go super you're across, viral. You're across so the have a nice day, you're and the music's the gonna play. Have a nice day, and the music's oh, gonna play. Fuck out of here. You're across the street. There's no way you 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 guys are really watching. Just stay in your house. That's what you need to do. Stay up. Stay up. Have a nice day, and the music. 
I love the guy who's like just going off at her and the camera's just standing there taking all of this just it, taking it all in maybe she's realizing that oh wait maybe I am the asshole in this situation actually probably not considering how entitled a lot of Karens are she probably doesn't even realize that she did anything wrong in that situation whatsoever also gotta love the whole thing when the guy was just told to well have a go back to go home go back to your place yada 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 shit like that and it's just like oh what I don't belong here uh, this is like a downgrade to me. It's like just the the, the flex of that is just hilarious. <laughs> I, I, I still can't get over how the Karen just stood there, just realizing that she's getting absolutely railed by this guy at this point in time, and she has nothing to that she can do about it. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got a Karen calling the cops over a bad haircut. <laughs> Look at this lady wasting my day. Wait for a bad yeah, right for here. a bad haircut. Yeah, yeah, for a bad haircut that I that I gave her that I gave her son that he asked for. You want Wasting my day. Look at this whack job. Bone heads barbershop. Whack job. Whack yes. job. Can you tell him to get away from Not, my face? No, I won't. No, I won't. I Look at her. Well. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Man, I gotta know, how bad was that haircut actually? This in this next clip, the Karen gets confronted after annoying her neighbor for the last time. Come over in here again and I'm calling the fuck I'm not playing around with you, man. We've been nice to you, we've been civil with you, we've been respectful to you this entire time that you've lived here, and you caused nothing but pain. Just because of the public street. And as always, the clip gets cut short. God damn it. <laughs> I love it how this is like one of those ones where you know that they weren't purposely recording this confrontation because it's coming from the security camera in the house. So you know that the person whose house is coming from is probably a little bit more on the right than usual. But this Karen sounds like a bit of a mouth, a bit of a handful overall in the neighborhood. The story of this clip is a very interesting one. Basically what's happened here is that the item is scanned up at the wrong price that the customer claims to have been a cheaper price on the shelf. When the staff member asks, hey, could you go take a photo of that? I can't leave the registers. The Karen decides to go and demand that, no, you go do it because that's what I've just told you to do. And then we have this clip here. Can you get somebody else I ain't gonna lie, Andrew. There's there's no winning this one here. You, you, like I get it, customers are infuriating, but it, you still kind of have to act professional to a degree. I mean, I get it. You probably had a bad day. I ah, uh, this is just it, it's just like I get it. I legitimately get this reaction from the guy, but at the same time, it, it's something you just don't do either. I, I get it. But you're in a professional setting, you kind of, even if the customer's not giving you that type of courtesy, you've got to keep your cool because A, you lose this job, which you probably didn't care about, but then also B, you can't use them as a reference anymore because, her duh, you lost your shit at that job and that's why you lost it, so it won't look too good on your record anyway. In this next clip, we've got a Karen making tidal waves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, no more fish. Yeah, someone scared them away. It's a little unacceptable, but we'll leave.
I mean, that's one way to approach a situation without using your words first. Just jump in and make a big splash to scare away any fish that could be in the area. In this next clip, we've got a Kevin who enjoys vehicles so damn much that every time he sees a vehicle he's never seen before or has a slight suspicion about, he must stop and take a photo of their license plate. Why? I don't know. Maybe he just likes cars that much. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Is everything okay, sir? Uh, you got my license too. You want my license? All right. Hey, hey, I appreciate you, man. Um, community, man. You know, community watch is good around here, dude. What's that? Community watch is good around here. I appreciate you being a good, a good citizen, man. Oh, you're on surveillance. That, that, that's. Are you? That's fine, man. You have a good morning, brother. You have a great morning, actually. We'll start right now. I'm sorry? We'll start right now. Alright, there you go, man. I think of it just like in one of two ways, either A, he's just like, oh, I haven't seen this car before, gotta stop, gotta take a photo of that, okay, another car of the neighborhood in the collection, I let's see if that one gets up into any trouble, or maybe a secondary art thing here, it's like, oh, this guy's got some equipment in the back of his car, I'm going to take a photo of that, for knowledge for later, what is he going to be doing, what, what house is he going to go to, it's such a weird thing to be doing, just like, you see a car, you hop, you stop your car, hop out, take a photo, and move on with your day, just because he said hi to you. <laughs> I mean, he, he, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's just odd. <laughs> In next clip, we got a Karen who decides to interrupt the jeweler about 10 minutes before they close and decides to just cause a ruckus around it. What's your name? When You've already you been asked to leave. to leave. When did you ask? First when I, when I said I was calling right. security. You ask us to, to leave? And as a matter of fact, you want to record, I'm going to record you as well, too. Yeah, there's uh, there's actually a code of conduct when you walk in. You it guys agree matter. to it. You're, you're not filing your code of conduct. conduct. And I'm going to let the manager know 10 mean? minutes early. As you have We're not closed. planning on coming and spending money with you. You actually, with, with your rudeness, you made it so that nobody wants to buy from I didn't you. say we were closed, ma'am. I just it said you matter. can't shop here. You don't here. need to tell me not to lean on here. You don't have a sign that yeah, says anything like that. Well, I guess what? Can. Because this is it? our business. It's it not your matter. business, ma'am. It's not your business. You're just a little peon that works here. And as soon as your manager Boy, finds you're out gonna... where head you are, I don't know if you'll have a job anymore. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you think that. Where's the security? They're on their way. Oh, really? In the meantime, you guys can... I'm sure can... you probably call them all the time, so they probably won't even come because you're just... Oh, no. It's the first time oh, they've been over here time. since Christmas. Be, we I was looking, looking at the jewelry. He goes, can you not lean on that? I just got through cleaning it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, so she called me a peon. Mm -hmm. Just right security. now, yeah. Now he's playing security because we are... Because you're being belligerent. You guys are violating the How mall's code of conduct. Because I'm actually standing up to you. Because yeah. Because you have obviously had... Yeah, I asked you, sort of I asked you not to dirty issue. up something that I'm cleaning. It doesn't matter. That's it does job. matter. It does matter. You job. see, I Guess I what? actually have a right to Guess say, what? please You're don't do that. You're going to clean it again because I'm leaning all over again. Okay. And well, as a matter of fact, you didn't say please. You guys come will come over here and clean this one as well. Too, okay. Along with this one. Yeah, we'll just we'll yeah. post that up. You guys can be famous. Go yeah, for it. Fake. Okay. Did you obviously have nothing better to do than harass customers? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually just standing here, ma'am. You're the one who's dirtying up my store on purpose. Okay, go ahead and give me your manager's information so I can call them first. Oh, trust me, he'll be calling you for the cleaning bill after this because you guys were deliberately <laughs> vandalizing our property at this point. Vandalizing? You, you, what, what's wrong with you? You? you do you your feel behavior? Sorry? It's do upsetting. You, do you need to go to school? Do you need to educate yourself? Do something with your life? I I'm mean, sorry that you have a job that's so you you're, have to take uh, out your personal you're the one throwing a tantrum in the mall, ma'am. I mean, it seems no, like if anybody just, needs to learn like etiquette, it's you. You're one of the you. millennials who have this entitlement attitude. You okay. act like people owe you something. <clears throat> These two. Uh, this gentleman right here and this woman, they're vandalizing my store. Okay. I've, got it all, I've got it all recorded. 
you know, from what I can tell from just watching this recording, this guy just kept his calm the entire time, just spoke normally, did normal things, and then the other person, the woman, was just sitting there antagonizing him over and over again, saying, oh yeah, you just finished cleaning this, I'm gonna make it all dirty on you, I'm gonna make it a bit of a nuisance, I'm gonna be a bit of an asshole towards you, because you work here, and I don't, this is your job, you're gonna have to deal with whatever the fuck I do now. It's just like one of those things where it's such an asshole move to do. Like, no no matter how someone else treats you, especially in some, a place like this, just doing shit like this is not the right thing to do. You should be the bigger person, not be a fucking asshole about things. But I suppose when it comes to these people, they weren't trying to be nice to begin with. They're just going to be fucking dickheads. Here we have a ultimately just wild situation occurring here. For some reason or another, this, the police are trying to get the woman out of this car, but she seems to not give up and not want to give in to being pulled over by the cops and does some ridiculous action. Her, her axle broke. Oh, no, he can't go nowhere. Either. Yeah, that's a girl. That's a girl. Yeah, she's, she's going crazy over these. She's trying to go crazy yeah. for Monaco's, man. Yeah, she's still trying to go. Look. Stop the car. Stop the car. I'm going to go look at that shoe. Oh, she cooked. Oh, that shit crazy. Holy shit. Watch out, Brody. Watch out, Brody. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here. Like, genuinely speaking, you thought you're going to get away? If you somehow did manage to pull away from here, it would just initiate a cop chase and you'd inevitably get caught at some point in the future and then you'd have to deal with a buttload more charges than what you would have if you just simply got out and stopped when they first tried to get your attention and get you out of the car. And honestly, I would say you're quite lucky you didn't get trigger-happy police officers because going from what I've seen in America, there are certain police officers that would use this as a justified reason to shoot. Because, you know, you're still moving in a car when police are actively trying to get you out of the car, potentially injuring someone. So, I don't know. I don't know what you were thinking. I don't get why you didn't give up. But, jeez, you are very, very lucky because it could have been so much worse. This next one's a pretty interesting one. So basically what's happening here is that the people who are filming, they were taking a photo, taking photos in the art gallery. One of the staff members saw them doing this and decided to just query them about it, tell them like some etiquette things and stuff along those lines. Anyway, the person behind the camera decides to say that, decides to put some form of assumption that it's racist. Yeah, yeah, here's, here's a clip, you know. People ask for permission. Just that sometimes it feels a wee bit awkward for other visitors. Ah, uh, okay. But I'll just not leave you two. No, it's okay. Let me uh -huh. speak to you. And um, whilst we've been here, there's literally been no one here. Uh -huh. I'm aware, like, I've been stood in the corner out of everyone's way. This lady wanted to have a look. I moved to the side. Mm -hmm. She had a look. That's great. I've been That's in okay. Obviously, way. I've not been here. This is not a photo shoot. Uh -huh. In fact, there were two other people here with a professional camera. Nobody said anything to them. Uh -huh. I'm here with a phone. Yeah. So no, it seems okay. a bit awkward that like you've picked on us, to be honest. No, I'm not picking on anybody. I've just, yeah. I've just got here myself. Okay. I've been aware she's been stood there watching me. Uh -huh. It's a bit 
yeah. of a weird atmosphere for her to just be staring at. Right. Me okay, no worries, I'll let you go all the way then. Okay. All right. Thanks. Do people have to get permission if they're here with a phone? I Not with a phone, it's just that sometimes, see if someone's sort of, especially when they're taking photographs in front of the artwork a lot. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're allowed to photograph the artwork, mm -hmm. but it's just, it, it's, it's a kind of complicated thing. But yeah, even sometimes if people are filming or taking photographs with their phone, they may ask for permission, depending on what they're using the photographs for as right. well. We actually even asked a member of the Glasgow Museum staff to leave this gallery the other day because he came in and he was recording and he hadn't asked for permission. Ah, but he's museum staff uh -huh. will be for but, something? Uh -huh. Well, I don't know what he was doing it for, but he right. thought because he worked for Glasgow Museums that that would be okay, he would be able to do it. But he was still said, no, you need to ask permission. And he he's was asked here to leave. like everyone else. Aye. So, no, no, it's not a know. problem. No, yeah. I was just obviously because my colleague had passed on her consent, concerns. Can I ask what the concerns were? No, it was just that I think she thought you yeah, were having a photo shoot or something. Oh. Yeah, because people do it sometimes in here. I dress nice. If she uh -huh. thought it was a photo shoot, that's on her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't help that. I look uh -huh. nice. Do you know yeah. what I mean? No, you're I'm jacket. Really, like everyone else having a look. Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah, no, there's not so, a problem. I'm sorry if I made you feel awkward. Yeah, you did, and she made me feel really uncomfortable. Right, I'm really sorry if I did. Yeah. Can't apologise for her, but apologise for me. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. When there was literally someone with a professional camera here, mm -hmm. and you didn't stop them, but like me on an iPhone, it's like... Uh -huh. I never saw anything with a camera. Was that before I got here? No, you were here. Was I'm sorry. Yeah, and show was she. Right, I'm sorry, I was probably just listening to what she yeah, was saying. Yeah, the, their camera was even making sounds, uh -huh. so I assume that would be maybe distracting to people that are trying to view yeah. art. Yeah, no, no, it's just, it's sometimes when people are taking photographs in front of the artwork, that's when it sort of becomes... That's what they were doing Yeah, right, I, I apologise, right, there's no an issue. Yeah. Alright, I'm really sorry if I've upset you. Yeah, you have a bit, I'm, I'm really not going to lie. I'm really sorry. I just think if you're going to come at me for like a photo shoot, the people that are here with a professional camera, uh -huh. with their clicker going off, yeah. it's a bit odd that like... I'm the only one that he that's here being mm -hmm. like, do you have permission? Yeah, no, I'm, I said, I'm sorry, I can only, okay. I've, I've apologised. Can I get the other lady's name, please? I, I don't think that's really fair for me to give you her name. Oh. Although she's wearing the name badge, her name's Andrea. But oh. I, I'm sorry if I've made you feel, I'm Susie, but I'm really sorry if I've made Thank you feel you. awkward. Thank All you. Thank right. you. Bye. Bye-bye. This entire argument went on for way, way, way longer than necessary. Like the worker just like was just pointed out some things and then was on her way. She said she apologized if it caused any inconvenience and apologized if if she felt if she felt offended or something from it, like stress some of those lines and it's just that's all there should have been to it. It didn't need to continue to go down this path of extending this entire thing, saying, oh, but there's other people around doing this as well. It's like, maybe they haven't seen them yet. Like, there's just so many layers of what goes on sometimes. And I, I feel like this clip isn't exactly the own that you would think it is when you were posting it. It just seems silly. In this clip, the emotions are running very high considering that we're seemingly almost 24 hours into a massive flight delay and ultimately a couple snaps at some of the workers of the airport to the point where, well, cops need to get involved to attempt to de-escalate it. <laughs> Look, I get it. I genuinely do. If you're nothing wrong, you can't do shit to me. It's like, to a point you have, you've just harassed workers at an airport. Like, there's certain rules you kind of got to follow to a certain degree, and here you're very clearly, blatantly crossing them. 
but you know, the police actually make an attempt to de-escalate things. Unfortunately, the clip ends there, so uh, I wonder what happened next.